Hello, this is Makers, and today I'm going to show you how to both mount Counter-Strike Source to your server and change the game mode with MPServe. Now, if this is after a fresh reinstall, like I just did, then you're going to want to start your server at least once before you attempt this. First thing you're going to want to do is stop. Now, once your server has completely stopped, which you can see here, and this message up on the top right of your screen is gone, you can move on to the next step, which is to install Counter-Strike content. Now, I'm not going to do this right now because I just did, so I'm going to hit cancel. Now, the next thing that you need to do is to mount the Counter-Strike source content that you just added. This is done by, and I'm using FileZilla, which you may or may not want to install and use. Go into your config, or CFG, scroll down to mount.cfg, and view edit. I have to wait a moment for it to download from the server. Do, 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 and here we go. Now, here you will see mount CFG, and here are two thing examples of how to mount your Counter-Strike Source content. Now, we're just going to go ahead and delete those, and put in two quotes. See, strike, and you can use a tab or a space, and do C, strike again. Now, save, close, finish editing and delete local file, yes, now you're done. Now let's go back here, and we're going to go ahead and stop the server again. I probably didn't need to do that, but it really can't hurt. Just wait for this message to go away. Dum, 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 dum. Okay, and now the next thing that you're going to do is update the server. Now, this can take a while, so I'm going to pause and be back with you once it has finished. And we're back. Now that your server has updated, we're going to go to the Settings tab. Now, this is where you change your game mode, as well as name your server, or this is where you name it, on MP serve side, this was not the name that will show up in Steam, and the map that it will load with every time you restart. Now in this example, I am changing it to Trouble in Terrorist Town. You can also do Dark RP, all lowercase. We're going to stick with Terror Town, because that comes default with Gmod, and we don't have to do anything else at the moment. Now remember that this name needs to match up with what's in Gary's Mod, Game Modes, Terror Town. For Sandbox, that's default. You don't need to change the game mode to Sandbox if that's what you want to keep with. Uh, make sure if you are doing a fresh reinstall that the map name you have here is actually in your maps folder. So we're going to scroll down here real quick. And as you can see by default, these two maps are always there. So I would try that your first attempt and then change it to something else later. So now, go back. We have successfully installed, mounted, and updated our server. So now all we have to do is press start. Now this can take a little while. Here it shows the server is starting and you should be watching the screen down here. So you can see we added C strike. We've changed the game mode right here. Prep OK, that is a good sign. If it doesn't say prep OK, then you have a problem. None of this other stuff really means anything. We haven't set up a map cycle yet. Now once you see that VAC secure mode is activated, that means your server is now up. So we're going to switch to Gary's mod. Refresh, and what do you know? Now, if you want to change the name of your server, 
then you need to go back to FileZilla, CFG, scroll down to Server CFG, view edit, and my computer is being slow today, but normally this is like instantaneous, it shouldn't take this long. There we go. Now by default, your server.cfg is blank. That's completely okay. So now we're going to do two quotes, which are optional. Do host name. You can have a space or a tab, it doesn't matter. And in here, we're going to change the name. All right. Save, control S or save, close, finish editing, and delete local file. Yes. And we're going to go back to here, and we're going to go ahead and restart. Same here, it's going to tell you that it's going to restart, and now your server has restarted. As you can see, we're going to see the same thing over again. That was loud, ignore that. I'm a very popular person. Prep OK. We're good. VAC Secure Mode has activated. Now we'll go back here, refresh, and as you can see, the name has properly changed. Now let's see if it actually worked. And I will be right back with you. And we're back. All right, now as you can see, the map is loaded correctly. I can fire my Counter-Strike source weapons, hopefully that's not too loud, and most importantly, I don't instantly reload. So there you have it. And that is how you upload Counter-Strike source content and change the game mode with MPServe. Uh, I hope you learned something, and have a great day.